United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures, we are comics. Along with architecting the next phase of Marvel superhero universe and building movies and shows for Disney Plus. Can't wait for Disney Plus. But if you're a Marvel fan, you pretty much have no choice. So, yeah. Enjoy and take my money! But I'm told Feige loves Spider-Man, arguably the biggest superhero character in the Marvel canon. He would have continued if Disney and Sony could have reached New Deal terms. Uh, yeah, but whose deal are you reaching? Theirs or theirs, since they can't seem to agree on a cohesive deal that benefits both. It seems to me that one does not want to give where the other doesn't want to give. So, no compromise. <laughs> Spider-Man is now considered unpredictable. We'll see what happens. Essentially, this means that Sony will have to try to win a championship with Michael Jordan. After all, Feige's first decade at Marvel is largely unblemished, and his consistency has been nothing short of historic. Even George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, and Peter Jackson haven't seen everything turn into a hit. And so maybe only James Cameron has a success record that Feige has achieved. But Feige has done it all in the last 10 years, producing an overseen 23 superheroes with not a flop in the bunch they're all they've all been number one openers that have collectively grossed 26.8 billion dollars Feige this year became the producer of the top grossing film ever for two studios Sony and Disney and he produced three of the top four highest grossing films this year in Avengers Endgame Captain Marvel and Spider-Man Far From Home. Three excellent films, really enjoyed them. Out of the three, hmm. Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel, Superman, I mean, Spider-Man. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is that a DC shout out? I'ma turn it into one. That was a shout out Superman DC. Yeah, there we go. Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel, and Spider-Man. Out of these three films, that's Spider-Man Far From Home, which was your favorite? Which one do you feel truly entertained and lived up to your expectations? For me, I would say none of them lived up to my expectations, but I'm guessing all UCU family members listening now probably feel the same way. But ah, as a general enjoyment of the film, I would have to say probably because it was to me the most groundbreaking out of the three films i know end game we've been waiting for and everything like that so that just right there told you that it's not gonna be end game but yeah end game we it was really awesome we've been waiting for it was awesome it's great 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 film but i feel like for me captain marvel was more impacting i mean captain marvel just hit me like up oh, there it is they did captain marvel and i like it and i'm a captain marvel fan so i'm happy about it and i'm like what are they going to do with her next? That's where I'm at. So I'm more excited about the next Captain Marvel than the next Avengers and the next Spider-Man. That's pretty much where I'm at with it. But what do you think? I mean, you know, let me know. Comment down below. And don't you please forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit those notifications so that Hydra cannot defeat us. Because believe me, they're trying. This after scoring the first ever best picture Oscar nom for a superhero film last year with Black Panther. I can't think of a Hollywood producer or executive who has done anything close to this. And the launch of the new iteration of Spider-Man was done brilliantly with Marvel's support and help. It has been a boon to both studios. Tom Holland's character was introduced in the Joe and Anthony Russo directed 2016 blockbuster Captain America Civil War, the film that set up the two record-breaking Avengers films, Sony's first rebooted Spider-Man film, 2017's Spider-Man Homecoming, rode that Marvel wave and grossed 880 million worldwide, and then the web slinger was a key character 
in the two Avenger films leading to the Spidey sequel that this week became Sony's top grossing film ever. Spider-Man kind of changed the game for Sony. I think that's gonna make them make a little bit of a comeback. But I mean, how wrong can they really go when you got Tom Hardy playing anything? So they have Venom to support them. And once they give, let's just say, the Venomverse people that Spider-Man flavor, people are gonna be stoked because you know it's spider-man and venom come on i mean it's the iconic experience right there if you're a spider-man fan sources said disney's top brass for the past several months has sought new terms for fege and the marvel cross pollination to continue oh cross pollination get writing dude as the spider-man relationship grew fege and sony pictures chief tom rothman spoke about the possibility of a wider involvement in the Sony-controlled Spider-Man universe, which contains 900 characters. More than that, I oh, that's what they have, okay. It is understandable that the physical shrewd Rothman would balk at giving up half of the Sony's biggest franchise to Marvel. After all, Marvel already owns the merchandising on Spider-Man. There it is, the merchandising. And that makes a difference, because toys equal cash does the mo does the moose really need half of the movie universe also sony so far has decided that as valuable as fege is disney is asking too high a price do you think that's too high of a price i'm not totally sure how i feel about that well what do you think let me know down below please thank you Sources said that Sony reasoned that they will be fine without Fege. The creative template has been set on the Spider-Man films and Watt and Holland are in place along with Amy Pascal, who became producer with Fege after she excited, excuse me, after she exited the executive suite after persuade, pers pres presiding, after presiding, thank you, after presiding over the previous Spider-Man iterations. Directed by Sam Raimi and Mark Webb as Sony Pictures' chief. And sources note that Venom was a problem picture. And far from the polished product that grossed $856 million worldwide. Until Rothman himself spent a good long time in the editing room helping to get it there. Wow, did not know that. Moving right along. The Venom sequel is well underway with Andy Serkis. You guys know who Andy Serkis is, right? He's the guy um, who played Claw in Black Panther. Great guy from what I hear. Andy Serkis directing Tom Hardy. And there is Morbius with Jared Leto, Craven the Hunter, and another spinoff with the characters Silver Sable and Black Cat. And a Sinister Six film that got shelved. Sony, which once felt the ticking clock of generating a Spider-Man film every three or so years to prevent a rights reversion to Disney, now has plenty of pictures to make. And the studio also won the Best Animated Feature Oscar for Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. What the... You know what I'm saying? Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Come on. Tell me, was that a surprise? I knew it could be good, but I had no idea it would be amazing! No clue. Love it. That was a smash surprise for me. Love the film. I suggest you watch it and then watch it again. Going back. A smash hit that made on their own. So they feel like they made that a smash hit on their own. So Venom gave them the confidence to go forward with the Spider-Verse per se. And then the situation at Marvel... So they felt less inclined to actually go forward with any demands from Marvel Studios after gaining that confidence boost from Venom. I pretty much knew that was going to happen, but I didn't know how things would work out. I was hoping they would become closer, but money divides everything. But hopefully us fans can give, still get something we really enjoy, you know, not just what they want, what we really enjoy. You know, I'd like it if they considered that more in the things they actually do. Because 
Money, you can't take it with you. So why act like you can? Spin it. Use it. Create wonderful things. Don't hold back things on a monetary illusion. But that's Jonin's show. Thank you again for tuning into United Comics Universe. We appreciate you. We need you to subscribe. We need you to please hit that notification button. We need you to hit that like up if you liked anything in this video. Even the article that was chosen. Anything you like at all, please subscribe. Hit that like button, the notifications. Everything you do matters. Be kind. Help those in need. UCU family members. This is Jonin Show. And we are comics. <laughs>